I had been called in and I was waiting online and I guess somehow I lost connection or something so uh, there was a little bit of calling about a minute late so if you're tuning in a little bit late on uh, live on blog talk radio sorry about that but uh, today I'm going to go ahead and start you off this uh, part of the song and I'm going to go ahead and get into the message today and today we'll finish out the the, uh, the healing services the first day I done the leopard was cleansed on New Hope Bible Study yesterday was uh, the Tyrian and today would be the mother-in-law. Tomorrow will be on call to discipleship. Oh, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind. But now I see through many dangers, toils, and snares. I have already come through grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace will lead me home. When we've been there ten thousand years, bright shining as the sun, we've known less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Today, we're going to be in the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verses 14 through uh, 17 today. And when Jesus was come into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid sick with a fever and he touched her hand and the fever left her and she arose and ministered unto them when they was even come they brought in too many that was possessed with devils and he cast the spirits out with his word and healed all that was sick that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet Elias saying himself took our infirmities and bare our sickness in him he took our affirmities he bare our sickness by his stripes we are healed tonight through him we can have healing we can have life and life more abundantly he come into this world not to destroy it but he said he come into this world to save that which was lost. And when he was on that cross, each and every one of us was on his mind. And in the same sense, the Bible says he took the stripes on his back for our healing. For all our infirmities. For everything that we go through. He done it for you and I tonight. So that we could have something. So that we could be a witness so we could tell about the mighty words and the power that he has today it's not in our hands but it's in his hands those like myself and others that proclaim the gift of healing can lay hands on you all that we want to but if you ain't got the faith you're not going to be healed it's not about us but it's all about God and it's about where your faith lies today yesterday I talked on the Satyrian when he said, Thy faith hath made thee whole. And that's what God is telling each and every one of you today that has sickness, that has illness upon your body. Be thou made whole today. Tomorrow there's a part of the scripture that says, Let the dead bury the dead, but come and follow me. Let everybody, all your problems, all this cares in this world, just let it be and follow Jesus 
if God's telling you to do something tonight, if God's telling you to minister, if God's telling you to sing, whatever it may be, you might not think that you have the best voice, you may not think that you have the best speaker, but you need to do what God's called you to be. Sometimes that's why we're healed, because God has a purpose and a plan for us. Sometimes that's why we go through the things in life, because the devil wants to stop us. You may have been going through this huge uh, illness for several days or infirmity. It's what I was looking for. You may be went through this huge infirmity for such a long time, and you ever wondered how you was ever going to come out of it, ever rise up above it. You can today through Jesus, because by His stripes we are healed. You've got to be like that woman that wished with the issue of blood. She just stretched forth her hand and said, "But if I could but just touch, but the hem of His garment, I know that I'll be made whole." That's all we've got to do tonight, is we've got to reach out and touch Jesus. Man can't do it for you. Preachers can't do it for you. Only Jesus can do it for you. And it's through your faith tonight. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12, that without faith is impossible to please God. Do you realize, by that verse saying that, that it's quite bluntly saying, that you've sinned if you don't have the faith. You say, well, I've not done this or I've not done that. I'm on my way to heaven. But the Bible says the little spot foxes can spoil the vine. And once you commit anything, you commit them all. So what are the little things that you're doing? And where's your faith today? Where does your faith lie? Do you have doubt? in your mind that God can heal you. The Bible says to ask anything with faith believing and you shall receive. Don't say you might. Don't say you can. It says you shall. That's a positive thing. Like I've preached time and time again, in our life we have the power to speak both blessings and cursings upon our lives. Speak life upon you today. If you want to be healed, speak it into existence.